So everyone, we are going on the Carnival Venezia. That's right, not Veneza, Venezia. So we are now on board the Carnival Venezia. is crowded already because you know you in New York and that drink package don't kick in until day two so you'll be paying for any alcoholic beverages you want now we are headed up to our room this is our room tour of room 7309 on the Conal Venetia which is an interior room Upon entering the room, as I said, this is an interior. Q and I separated the beds into twin. We didn't want to, but we did. Cause guess who we got with us? Shay. And in, it's easier for her to get off the bed and for him to get off the bed without him hopefully hitting his head. So yeah, so this is the three, this sleeps three, the upper berth, and they got the, the ladder there, the two twin beds. These have the nightstands attached to them nice pretty mur mural of a uh, venice in the background over here it's a small desk they have the outlets i think european outlets and the regular 120 volt they also have usb and a 220 volt and they also have a high high power usb so it's a supercharger so that's really good telephone the hair dryer is here in the drawer there's a stool and those are the towels that come with it here's another area for you to put your things there's water in the room you know these costs if you have water with your status then you go get those down at the bar i believe i wouldn't bother with those they may charge you for those here is the refridge and we have sodas in there and they keep the sodas really nice and cold some more space down here to store your things. They only have like two closets here. This one has multiple shelves and the safe, and it has three drawers down there. And a closet here, so you can hang up your clothes. And there's a full length, full length mirror here. And they have three hooks here. For you to hang your jackets as we have here or your lanyards if you want to there's also a hook over here to hang your lanyards or whatever here also this is controls the bathroom this is the bathroom light here here is the it controls the heat and the air conditioning underneath of the beds it's big enough under the beds for you to put your luggage so your luggage can go under the beds with no problems. And you have to keep your, it's supposed to be your room key, but you see, we've, we've used the um, room attendance card to keep the lights on in the room. You have to have these in for the lights to work and also for the charger to work for you to charge things. You have to have your key card or we use a state attendant card. Nice flat screen television on the wall. And this is the, the mirror that has LED, you know, the LED around. So, see it gives great, it gives a great um, light. This is the, this is the bathroom. As you can see, they have glass enclosed showers the latrine this is the counter the sink and they have shelving for you to put your toiletry items on both sides three shelves and tissue and this is the mirror as well it's just like in the, uh, the uh, stateroom has the LED the lights on the side they also have you can pull out 
the magnif the magnifying uh, the magnifying glass for you to use for your makeup or shaving. We're on our way to our muster station to get that over with. So I decided to try the pepperoni pizza burger here at Guy's Burger Joint. They already had the burgers lined up, you know, embarkation, very busy. The fries were hot, and I'm gonna get into this burger. So we went to Guy's Burgers, it's a mad dash. They have two lines here. Really, it's kind of a longish line. The placement's really weird. Maybe I'm just used to it being isolated with, you know, like you go through like a queue, like you're at an amusement park, like how they are on the XL class ships. But... So the burger came with a deep fried mozzarella patty, pepperoni marinara sauce, and a mozzarella coated beef burger. So I'm so disappointed with this pepperoni pizza burger. This is the fried mozzarella that's on it. It was cold, it's like a cold slab of cheese. And unless you got a charcuterie, if it's supposed to be fried and, and gooey, it's not, it's this. So I'm so, I'm so sad. This was, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I, I, I didn't get any pepperoni on it or anything. I guess that's some of the sauce and the mozzarella cheese on the burger. And the bun, you see that right there? To me, that means that that's not a, like a fresh bun. When you grab it and it starts to crack like that, that's not a fresh bun, so. Because this is embarkation day and they're trying to, you know, they're working at full speed. So a lot of stuff is not as it should be, even at Guy's Burger Joint. So I'm gonna try this again, y'all. I, I lied, y'all. I did not have another burger the entire cruise. But right now, that thing is, that thing is trash. We have here the Funfetti Cheesecake, which you can only get on Embarkation Day. I've never seen on another day that's not Embarkation Day, but it is the best dessert to get on Embarkation Day on any carnival ship, in my opinion. And I'm gonna dig into it and see if it still tastes as good as we remember. Okay, no, we can turn around. Nope. Okay. Um, so, this time around, it's a lot more light. It's not as dense as last time we had, last time I had it. It's very light this time around, like, as you can see, like, it's light. It's not as dense as you can see, like, it's very light, so I actually like it better this way, but still pretty good. The sail away party was in the back of the ship, which was a small area. It was very crowded, um, but it was nice. The cat in the hat was there shaking a the tail feather, you know, the, um, the dancers were really good. The DJ was playing the music. So it was a really nice celery party. Just a really small, crowded area. The New York City Fire Department's water cannon ship bid us a farewell, at least for the weekend. And as we approached Lady Liberty, it was a wonderful evening with beautiful views of Ellis Island as well. We'll see you in a couple of days, Lady Liberty. So we are here in line at the main dining room and it's a hot mess. Um, the app is not working correctly. It's grayed out. I can't even make a reservation. Shay made one and we got down here, got kicked out. Q made one with the three of us and it, it's been about 20 minutes and it's a lot of people here so something's wrong and this is the crowd everybody's hungry everybody's irritated <laughs> and it's a hot mess this is ridiculous so q went to check on our the reservations in the app and even though it says it's a less than 10 minute wait the person said that it's still 30 to 40 minutes before our table will be ready. So we're up here in the buffet to get something. Carnival, do better. So we just went to the buffet to get a little something to tide us over until our dinner reservations were finally confirmed. Food was okay, nothing spectacular, but it's something so you don't get sick. The ice machines were broken. 
you know, there was no drinks at one of the machines. And it was a bit frustrating. And we're still waiting on dinner. We checked in at 7.12, it's 8.06. So we're still waiting for dinner. Still saying less than a 10 minute wait. All was not lost. And there's still a glimmer of hope. The cruise director, Mark Q, was out on the stage doing Italian word trivia. So we found something to drink. I just caught the last little bit of the sun setting because we're up there trying to... <sighs> we finally got our table, okay, in the main dining room. But that sunset is beautiful and it's relaxing and calming. So they do have the cranberry <laughs> bread that we really like. So let's hope the rest of the dinner is decent. So the soup came, not with the Tuscan bread, and of course the shrimp cocktail. Shay got the quesadilla and Q got the soup too. But no Tuscan bread. So our mains have arrived. The beef brisket. Those be uh, sweet and sour sweet shrimp. Sweet and sour shrimp. The fries right there. Uh, okay, I just chocolate melon cake. It's literally melty. There's literally, I've never seen it like this. All the way from the bottom to the top. There's no nothing in the middle. As you can see right here, the part that's the cake part, it's so thin. Look how thin it is. That's it. Everything else is just goop. So, um, we're on the Venezia. We're ending up. No, it's not the Venezia. The Venezia. It's the Conquest Premium. <laughs> That's the vibe it's giving. Oh my god. The really conquest. Say? That's what it's giving. Okay, well, first of all, we got off to a smashing start. The priority line, we whisked right in. We were through security in less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, mustard drill was flawless. But when it came time for dinner, Sailway party was cool too. Cat in the Hat was there and everything, so that was cool too. Um, wait a minute. Let me go back. Guys Burger. <sighs> that was trash, y'all. I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. I tried the pizza one. That pizza one that I was really looking forward to. And they gave me a piece of, it's supposed to be fried mozzarella. That thing was cold as. It was thick too. It was, it like was thick, thick and cold. They must have gave me a quarter, a quarter teaspoon of pizza sauce. And don't ask me where the, where the, where the pepperoni was. I, I yeah. never saw it. So that was a really, and the bread was flaking off the top like it was stale for me. So that, that I was not happy. Yeah, you have to probably get that over again. Yeah, I said I was going to try it again. I am. Nope, I'm try nope, it again. nope. But I'm telling you, first, <sighs> Shay. It, yeah, it, to me, dinner, it was that whole fiasco with the app thing where it said under 10 minute wait, but yeah. it was really like an hour and 10 minutes. It was just a lot. Um, and I'm like, your app is glitching. It's been, this is not the inaugural. This is, that happened two weeks ago. Yes. So really, it, it shouldn't have any system yeah. errors like this. Yeah. Honestly, Carnival just needs to update their app anyway, because compared to everybody else, they're behind the game when it comes to their app, especially mm -hmm. with how everyone else has like your boarding pass within your app, and it's just more seamless. This one, you have to go to like web browsers to get to it. It's like, why am I using an app when I can just go on Safari to utilize most of your things? Right. That's just me being techie in that sense. You have a trash app, Carnival, do better. Do better, yes. Um, but other than that, dinner was just okay. It, 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 it was it was Quint, Quint over there, y'all. He told me it sucked. Um, tomato soup was salty, the tomato salty. soup was very salty. It was watery, and I didn't get my Tuscan bread, y'all. The highlight of the dinner was the cranberry bread. It always is. We love that yeah. cranberry bread. Um, that's all I can say. That beef brisket. I swear, to, I'm not playing, y'all. That beef kind of had the texture and a little bit taste of some other kind of meat, not beef. That 
and then it was also, it was funky. Yeah, and, and I don't know if it's like this because of like their suppliers. Like I don't know if they're still they still have stuff they brought from overseas mm-hmm. or if this is the new stuff coming in. I don't know. Um, maybe, but my chocolate melt and cake oh was gosh, yeah. literally just soup mm-hmm. with this much of a crust of like cakey portion. Mm-hmm. It the whole thing from top to bottom, besides that. Point five mm-hmm. centimeter of thing was just soup. I just left it. I, I couldn't eat it. You wasn't the only person that. Left yeah, it. there are multiple ones. I don't know. If yeah, they're, the people what, what left them. Yeah, through. they didn't cook them long enough. Yeah, I don't rushing. think they cook them long well, enough. Basically, today we realized they'd be rushing all that stuff because your they guys' did. burger, everyone's burger, was crushed at the bottom. Right. Like hard charcoal carbon type of crust. Mm-hmm. From the burgers, I guess they aren't scraping the grill hard enough, mm-hmm. and then they're also like, I don't know, maybe they're flattening them to a degree where mm-hmm. it just ends up being burnt at the bottom. It just wasn't. It, overall, the food today was not that great. It was not that great, and we know Carnival. We know Carnival can do better. We mm-hmm. do, and we hope they do better. I mean, we got three more days on here. Please, I mean, come on, Carnival. Yeah. Don't, don't let don't let MSC of all right those lines I'll right I'll do you now. like come right because you know what we told y'all about MSC, but mm, Carnival, you're not holding up your end of the bargain. You need to do that. Yeah. I know <laughs> this is Italian ship. So. Yeah, so you know. Ugh. Well, we have three more days, mm-hmm. and they have three more days to get it right. Because, you know, we're going to tell you, we're just going to tell you the truth. You know, we're not sugarcoating anything. This is what we experience, and, you know, it is what it is. We're tired, um, and we will see you on the next adventure. Peace.